Hello again guys and welcome to the second episode of the Toolkit Panel Maker series. If you haven't watched the previous one, I suggest you do it in order because it will make more sense. In this episode I will cover more of the UI elements, uh, how you can add icons to them and how right click works. It's not going to be complete of all the elements and all the features, but um, think of it as part one of UI elements. So let's continue with the panel that we had last time, but this time let's make it a little bit more flexible. So the first thing I want to show is button groups. Since we worked with buttons in our previous episode, uh, we can add a button group. It looks blank, but it has these lines here. This means you can drag it around. And also it means that it's a container. So if I drag a button, in, I can drag a button inside this button group container now. So I can have two buttons on the same row or three buttons or how many I ever I want. Um, Toolkit also remembers how wide you set your panel so you can make um, really really wide ones and then groups come very in handy um, because you can also place groups in groups. I'm not going to show that because that's more of an advanced thing for later. Um, but that's one uh, type of button. And sometimes when you drag things around, uh, it might be when you have a lot of groups, it's easy for it to get confused. So for example, say I want to move close below here. It might be difficult. Sometimes it works. Um, there's a trick to groups. And if you want to move rows, and that's if you go to the three switches up here, it says lock groups. So if I click on lock groups, now I can't change anything inside of the group, but I can drag things up and down very easily. So just, just a tip for, um, because it wants to, like the groups are greedy, so to speak. They want to have stuff inside. <laughs> so uh, when I try to place this above, I can if I drag it above first and then down. But it, if I try and place it in between, it's, it won't allow me because the group wants the button. So that's something that I get some questions about. Why can't I do this? It's uh, because the groups need to be greedy, otherwise it would be really hard to place uh, buttons inside. And that's why this switch is here. Um, or you can drag the actual group. So if I wanted to have close button below this group, I can drag the group. And then of course it works. Okay, uh, let's cover a few more groups. Uh, they're similar, but they are a uh, little bit different in layout. So let's create another one here. Uh, again, this indicator here tells me it's a group. So I drag a, a button inside here and here, but the difference Let's actually do this and move the close up so you can. The difference is there's just a tiny line in between here. So this is good if you have like, if these three buttons do similar things, uh, but with different settings or something like that. Um, I think it looks more clean to have them like this than separate buttons. Um, Yes, 
toggle stack we'll do when we talk about toggles uh toolbar is another container but it's not for buttons so if i try to drag a button inside of this i can't do it won't allow me but if i go into icons and the first tab here is tools so these are the basic photoshop tools that you see on the in the menu um so if i want you know the color picker maybe i can drag the color picker into this group or um, patch tool like so so again go back to elements the toolbar is the group that i used and toolbar contains icons and the nifty thing about the photoshop tools is that they automatically get linked as well so you don't have to think about it so if i click on this one and look what left click does it sets the tool to eyedropper tool but i can also make uh, custom ones here um all these filters is if you want to search for something but let's just take an anchor here maybe so now i have an anchor button here so i can have these toolbars and i can have all these custom icons as well the tools from photoshop doesn't support coloring because um i don't have copyright to them uh, they they belong to adobe so these are just pulled from photoshop as they are i can't modify them so but the um the icons in the font awesome library uh can actually have colors so if i want this yellow i can do it okay I realize this video is maybe not super basic, but um, go back and watch it again. Um, need to cover these groups because they are important when you want to create your layouts. Uh, think of them as containers, basically, and they can contain different stuff. Um, toolbar flow, I'll show later. Uh, it's a different type of toolbar. It's also for icons. Uh, then there's uh, an, another container called Accordion, which is pretty cool. Uh, looks like this. And then I can have all the regular elements inside of the Accordion. So, like so. Let's just save it and look how it looks inside of Photoshop. Um, as you remembered hamburger menu and you also saw that it changed the width because i changed the width uh, i can show that again just because it's it wants to keep the layout that you created so even when i dock it, it keeps the size and this is important if you're using, uh, if you're docking like uh, tall panels below. Uh, this one obviously looks horrible, but you get the idea. Uh, and then the accordion that we created is by default collapsed. When we go into advanced properties, I can show how to have it open by default. Um, but it's collapsed by default and then if I open it then I have the buttons like so let's create some more um, yes let's add another tab now we need a name for it because uh, otherwise the layout's gonna look bad. So maybe we can call this main. 
So now we we added a tab, and this could be like I don't know favorites or something. Um, other maybe it's a good name. Drag some buttons here. Save. Photoshop again. I'm gonna switch back and forth a bit just so you can see how things look because it's not always the same in um, in the Panamaker obviously because like the groups need to have the handles and some spacing to be able to drag things but now we created a panel that has two tabs in a very condensed space so you could uh, you could really add a lot of things in a very very small space and i like this myself i hate having 10 panels open and like um or panels that just have a way too many buttons or way too few <laughs> um yeah uh back to panamaker again then um some more basic elements. I'm jumping a little bit back and forth here, but um, so title is good if you have sections. So for example, if this section is about dodge, dodge and burn, then it might be good to have like a title so you know what the functions below are for. Uh, or if you want to have it for one of these stacks, if you guys remember, if I lock the groups, I can drag this here. Um, actually, the title is not going to allow you to put it inside a group, I think. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yes. So use this. Otherwise, it might look ugly. Um, okay. The label is just a new type of title that's left aligned. And I added this one because having these uh, type of uh, titles inside of accordions doesn't look good. So it's just a label for uh, accordion. But you can use them to whatever you want. But that that was the purpose I added it. Um, yeah, that would be all for this episode. I said I would cover right click, but that will be next video. So talk to you very soon and we'll continue.